What's up, you guys? Gabe on 26 is coming back at you with another video. Hope you guys having a nice day. I'm trying to have one. Uh, just left out of auto zone. Had to pick up a, a half inch to three eighths adapter. It snapped on me. Y'all's break. My my do it yourself. You know, just go to auto zone, get you another one, swap it out. Go to O'Reilly's. It don't hurt. So they swapped the broken one out for another one. Okay. I came out the store and I was thinking, man, I was like, dang, I got a lot of followers on YouTube. I got over a thousand subscribers on YouTube now. And I'm very happy about that. You know, uh, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I can't express how much I'm happy to have you guys following me and watching my videos. Thank you guys so much. I wish I could give all you guys a hug. You know, thank you guys so much for what you do. Um, what I thought about doing was this. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to answer questions that people have for me on my videos. Like, uh, most of my do-it-yourself videos with the cars or the trucks, or things that I do to my truck that I pay people for, I have a lot of people asking me questions about what should they do, what should they buy, what product is good for my truck, what product is good for my car, what should I do with my car, what kind of car should I buy? Like I have these type of questions that people ask and what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna start uh, servicing the people as far as that. I'm gonna start answering y'all questions any questions that y'all may have if i find a question that's like that's gonna answer like your one question can answer a thousand people questions then i'm gonna answer that question so i'm gonna get into this question that someone asked me um with my gear swap on my f-150 so y'all hang tight All right, you guys, that was the question from Daylin Coffee. Um, thanks for the question, bro. Um, and thanks for viewing the video. Um, he asked me with a 373 or a 355 gear, uh, which would be better? Which one is the best out of the two? And it depends on what you want to use the truck for. Like if you're towing, you're towing, uh, you got bigger tires and things like that I would go for the bigger gear he asked about three, 355 and 373 you could go higher than 373 but just to stay um, along the lines of the question I would do 373 with a truck because you got the weight to think about um, your fuel economy is not going to be hurt because the 373 is really a, um, an economy gear it's not going to really be bad on gas but it just depends on your tire size you know um, I would go with a 373 on it and he also asked me which which would be the best all around gear um, which gear can I use to drive like a maniac and it won't hurt me well, daily, I would do a 14. Because a 14, because a 14, you're gonna see more acceleration. You're gonna get more power. Um, pretty much more performance out the truck. And that's what I got in my truck right now, a 14. So, my opinion, uh, daily, I would do a 14. If you want to stay along the lines of a 355 and a 373, I would do 373, which is not a, not bad. But if you want to drive like a maniac, like you said, and you want to uh, get more performance out the thing, I would do a 14. Now, if you really want to get crazy with it, you could do a 456 or 488. 
but your tire size will you have to look at your tire sizes because if you don't if you stay with the smaller tire size you're going to kill your gas mileage it's just the way it works you got to go with bigger tires and maybe some bigger rims as well to uh to stay along the the stock gas usage i'm gonna make a video on that as well but uh i would do a 410 and you can keep the, the factory uh the factory uh size tires a 410 will be fine if you want to do a 373 that'll be fine as well so those are the two gears that I will peak. You know, I had 355s in my truck, and when I upgraded the tire sizes and things like that, my truck moved like a slug. It moved like a caterpillar. Like it was slow. And I had to like it took a long time for the for the for the truck to switch gears as well. Like it was fighting to switch gears with the 355. And I got 35s on my truck. Some guys, everybody's different, you know. Most people can run a 355 with 35s and don't complain about it. But people like me, we need more gear. We need more performance. We like to, you know, and still keep the gas mileage in an okay range. You know what I mean? So I'm representing the guys like that. But at the end of the day, it's all love to the truck community out there. All the F-150s. All the the Silverados, all the 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 GMCs. I mean, I mean, I got love for all the trucks, man. You know what I mean? But uh, don't want to be the dead horse. I would go with the 14, a 373 data. Uh, that's gonna bring an end to the video. I'm gonna have uh, more videos like this coming up. I'm going to go through my videos and I'm going to pick questions that people have. Shout out to Dalen. Shout out to you and your family, bro. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And thanks to everybody watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.